Okay, so this is the third day dissection. We're going to do the neck, and first thing you want to do is clean up some of the muscle around that neck, and then kind of cut down towards the pectoantibrachialis. Once you do that, kind of push the chin up, and we can begin to see some of these neck muscles. This has been pre-dissected. I kind of went down along here, and what we're looking at almost immediately on the right side here is the sternohyoid. Here's the sternohyoid on the left-hand side. Under the sternohyoid, right here, and also this one's been torn, is the sternothyroid. So we have sternohyoid, runs clear on up here, and we have the sternothyroid that runs and ends right here, below the hyoid. So here's the hyoid, and there's the thyroid. Now, from there, you can see the cricothyroid right on the larynx, and you can also see this little muscle that picks up. So it goes sternothyroid and then thyrohyoid. So we have, again, sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, cricothyroid. I'm gonna pull this sternohyoid back down. Now running right here, with the jugular vein running on it, is in cat, it's two separate muscles in humans. We have the sternomastoid. In humans, this is fused with this muscle right here, the clitomastoid. So in humans, it's the sternocleidomastoid. In cats, it's the sternomastoid and the clitomastoid. Okay, on the other side of this vein right here, the transverse jugular, kind of work our way up to the bottom of the chin, and we can see right here, running along the mandible, we have the digastrix. Running across between the digastrix, kind of transversely, is the mylohyoid. If you cut a window in the mylohyoid, right below it is the geniohyoid. So once again, we have the sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, cricothyroid, sternomastoid, clitomastoid, digastric, mylohyoid, geniohyoid. Along the lateral side, on the cheek, is the masseter. And then right on the top of the head, flip this cat over, you have temporalis. That's it for day three.